right now I'm, I'm like reading a lot about like uh, quantum physics. Maybe, maybe art can be somehow used to talk about sort of things only being there when they interact, for instance, like nothing exists if it doesn't interact with something else. And that's an artwork does that too. It only creates something between the view and the, uh, and, and the piece because the piece is full of questions and abstractions and doesn't, it doesn't, it's not a billboard. It doesn't say, tell you what to think. So it, everything is going on in between the view and the, and the piece. So it's sort of, which is, so it's the interaction. You know, sometimes it's not this, you, you don't experience the same as creating the stuff as the people watching it because, you know, sometimes people just notice how the colors change and others like, you know, this and that. And for yourself, some little thing can be a huge step and, and you know, and maybe people don't even see it. And <laughs> so in that sense, it's, but as long as you as an artist feel that you are developing and you always stay true, true to, to what, you, what you want to do at the time, you shouldn't be too concerned with if other people are entertained by, by your progress. I think the most exciting thing is that that I'm sort of allowed to to take whatever I find interesting or disturbing or or you know anything that motivates me I can take that and actually work with it and I'm allowed to you know to just focus on things that I find interesting or challenging or whatever uh, as I please, which is kind of awesome and a privilege. Um, but that's also maybe the most challenging, challenging part about being a, an artist because, because you, you, you sort of, sometimes it, 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 it's sort of a relief to just be told what to do. 